my top five sexiest men and now it's time for favorite actresses. This was extraordinarily difficult surprisingly enough. I mean my number one and my number two are set in stone pretty sure. I think those two aren't gonna move. I had some troubles but the other ones kind of switch in and out as I come obsessed with somebody else. So that's the story. Morning Glory. Number five, as of currently, is Bonnie Hunt. I do adore Bonnie Hunt. I think she's fantastic. Return to Me, which she wrote and directed and was a co-star in. That movie is fantastic. If you haven't seen it, it's great. My favorite chick flick. Only You, which is co-starring Marissa Tomei and Robert Downey Jr., my favorite actor. I love this movie. It's very like corny, but it's fantastic and it's a great, simple, happy, love-go-lucky movie. So Bonnie Hunt, number five. Number four, Madeline Kahn is great. Just saying. She's always been one of my favorites. Pardon me, is everybody there? Because if everybody's there, I want to thank you all for coming to the wedding. My favorite Madeline Kahn movies, definitely High Anxiety. I just love this movie in general, but I think it's because she's in it. It's one of my favorite comedies anyway. I love Mel Brooks. He's fantastic. He's one of my favorite directors. It is my favorite Mel Brooks movie. Also, Young Frankenstein. She's genius in that. She's not a major character because she was Elizabeth instead of Inga, who was played by Derry Garr, but she's just genius. Go, can't you go? Why is nobody listening? Goodbye. Go and cry at another. Number three is Kristen Chenoweth. So my favorite Kristen Chenoweth roles as of currently would definitely have to be Olive Snook on Pushing Daisies. Yes, mine is not the first heartbroken. My eyes are not the first to cry. I'm not the first to know. Which is one of my favorite shows um, that has ever been on television. I love her in this role. She did a great job. She won an Emmy for it. I'm hopelessly Kristen Chenna with On Glee as April Rhodes. She's basically the reason that I originally officially considered that my favorite television show currently on. I hear the ticking of the clock. I'm lying here. The I love it. I wonder where you are tonight. No answer on the telephone. No, that's it. I love this show. I don't care. I am officially a major Glee fan. The night goes by so very slow. Oh, I hope that it won't end all alone. Definitely one of my favorites. Also, um, side note, what else you should see um, that are good? She's really good on The West Wing. She's also really fantastic in Bewitched. Um, I love her in that. Uh, there's so many things she's done. Alright, my second favorite actress. Are you ready for this? Because it's epic. Helena Bonham Carter is my second favorite actress. I know you're going to be like, what? But once you hear who number one is, then you'll be like, oh, okay, I can see that. Definitely Helena Bonham Carter. She's fantastic and pure genius. Everything she does, she just steals the show. My favorite Helena Bonham Carter movies. Definitely number one would be Sweeney Todd. You know what I'd like to do, Mr. Todd? What I do is the business says it's good. 
I love her in that. I wish that I was her in that. What would you like to go in a year or so? Don't you want to know? Do you really want to know? Mrs. Lovett, she killed it. She nailed it. She stole the show. Seems a damn heart shine. I loved it. Seems an awful waste. I watch it like at least once every couple weeks just to get my fix. Such a nice plump friend. What's his name? Has. Had. Has. Lori can't be true. See, it's hard for me to pick two because she's so brilliant and everything she does, I just, oh, I love. Business needs a lift. I guess I'll pick Fight Club because hers, Marla Singer. Gets to be a fight. It was, it's, it was genius. She did so great. Think of it as twist. Ugh, ugh, I loved it. As a kid, if you get my drink. Wait, she's in Fight Club? Well, what the hell have I been doing all this time? Seems an awful wife. I loved her in Twelfth Night. Honey, with a price of meat, what it is. Heart of me. When you get it. Wings of a dove. If you get it. Merlin. Good, you got it. Hey, for instance, Mrs. Mooney and a partial. Corpse Bride. Big fish. Novocaine. And I'm sure they can't compare as far as tales. I always forget about Novocaine. Novocaine is a great movie. If you haven't seen it, you gotta go watch it. Because it's hilarious. I love Steve Martin, and then she's fantastic, and it's great. Number one, Ginger Rogers. I mean, it's, it's sickening how much I adore Ginger Rogers. I have said this in the past, that if she were still alive today, I would totally be a stalker. I'm sorry, I know it's wrong, but I would be. They all laughed at Christopher Columbus when he said the world was round. Major and the Minor, it's genius. She's fantastic in that movie. They all laughed when Edison recorded sound. Also, Top Hat. They all laughed at Wilbur and his brother when they said the man could fly. Vivacious Lady with Jimmy Stewart. They told Marconi why I was supposed to call me. It's the same old line. Once Upon a Honeymoon and Monkey Business with Carrie Grant. Okay. They laughed at me, wanting you. Said I was reaching for the moon. But all you came through. Now they'll have to change their tune. Oh, Stage Door with Katherine Hepburn. Genius. They all said we never would be happy. Kitty Foyle, I cry. Darling, let's take a bow. Foxy Hart. Cause ho, 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 who's got the last half now? Top five favorite actresses. Number five, Bonnie Hunt. Number four, Madeline Kahn. Number three, Kristen Chenoweth. Number two, Helena Bonham Carter. And number one, my all-time favorite actress, Ginger Rogers.